Hey guys, welcome back to Titanium Man Garage. Uh, I was going over this machine a while back ago. There's a video I have. Um, I did a complete rebuild on the motor, gone through a couple of issues with it. Uh, the electronics were all messed up. I've had some backfiring issues with it. So, went through two different carbs, thought that might be it. Uh, went through the electronics, thought that might be it. I even checked to see if I got any leaks anywhere because what's going on right now is it idles beautifully but when I rev it up and I let off the accelerator it wants to backfire. So usually it's two different uh, conditions. One it's either running lean sucking in air in the carb and um, backfiring. To me I, I pulled the spark plug it was black so that made me think it was running rich. Another issue with uh, these, this is like a 99. So 98 to uh, 2001, they had bad cam issues. So when I rebuilt the motor, uh, I put the head on with the cam, the original, and fired it up and it seemed to be fine. The cam did look good. Seeing that I went through everything, I think I might replace the cam. Let me fire this thing up and show you what's going on. And I want to show you a couple tricks on how to test for air leaks so you know if it's, you know, your intake boots cracked or air sucking in from somewhere. So hang tight, let me get this thing fired up. And it does turn all over hard. So that leads me to believe there's an issue with the decompression ball. All right, so another test you can do is check for air leaks on your intake boot right here. So I'll spray a little uh, carb cleaner around the boot, anywhere that there might be cracks, and then if it revs up, then I know there's a leak. So I'm gonna fire it up, and we're gonna spray a little carb spray. Be careful while you're doing this. Nothing's revving up. There's no air leaks. Nothing's revving up. There's no air leaks. So that leads me to believe there might be a cam issue. I said I put two different carbs on that were both clean and rebuilt and ended up with the same issue. So let's go through taking the cam off and I'll show you what I do. All right, I might do this in a little different order than most people, but let me pull that spark plug out and I'll show you what it looks like black. Spark plug's black. It's telling me it's either running rich or the exhaust valves aren't staying open long enough. So I'm gonna check the uh, cam first. Only like, because they've gone through the car and the electronics already. And once I get everything apart, I'm gonna make sure the engine's at the center.
Bonjour. Go ahead and take the cover off here right away. I'm going to pop that side cover off. All right, so what I'm gonna do is there's two little dimples right here. I'm gonna make sure I'm at top, top dead center. There's also, if you pull this plug, there is a place that'll, it's like a little arrow in there, and it'll show you exactly where you need to be. I can usually tell by the valve lash. Two dimples are here. That's up there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. And I'm going to let the tensioner actually hang on to everything so I don't lose the chain. 10 millimeter socket. Normally I'd have this stuff moved out of the way, but today I'm going to try kind of cheating a little bit here. There we go. I can pull this gear off the cam. The tensioner is just going to hold it in place. Now I'm going to take the rockers off. It's a 10 millimeter socket. So I'll show you where I'm at here. Took these. Four bolts off, this is my last remaining one. I'm gonna take the rockers off. Usually they just wiggle off, but I might need a screwdriver to pull this off. All right, pull the rockers off. That actually looks pretty decent. Now I can actually spin this if I wanted to and check see if there's anywhere on that cam. For me, it would probably be just easier to pull it out. So now in order to get the cover off for the, the cam, you have to pull this line. I'm gonna show you a little cheat here. I'm gonna pinch that hose off so I don't drain the radiator. Pull the thermos cover off so I can access this to the. Oh, there we go. So you get a little cool and dripping, but not as much as if you were to drain the whole radiator. So. All right, now I can take the cover off for the cam. thing I like to check is, ah, I see a problem. There's no spring in there for the cam. Decompression ball. Actually, it is in there, it's, it's not on. <coughs> Let me pull that cam out, I'll show you what I mean. Cam actually looks pretty good, but 
It's supposed to be spring here and that keeps the decompression ball in and out. And that is not, look at that, that's actually out further than it should be. <laughs> so that might be my issue. Alright guys, so I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, my camera zooms in and out, but there's a little spring back here. I know you can't see it in the camera. And when this turns, decompression ball goes in and out. So this was just flopping around. The spring isn't even in the right position. So I'm going to flip this upside down. And get the spring in the right position. See, it should spring back when you do that, and it's really not, so the spring's not in the right position. I'm also going to check the, the cam lobe. It should be at, let's see, what is it, 1.28, I believe. Uh, 1.29 would be better. Let me grab my caliper and find out what I got. <laughs> So I'm at 1.3 1, 1 with us, so this is a good cam. So I just have to fix that decompression issue. All right, so I actually had to look at another cam just to double check how the spring went. All right, I know you guys aren't gonna be able to see this in the camera, but Part of the spring to, to closest towards the cam goes on top of this nub. And then the other part of the spring sits on here. And now it kicks back like it should. So I think my decompression ball was stuck open. Or stuck closed. I guess if you stuck closed, which is probably why it was kicking so much um, exhaust back into the carb, into the spark plug. <laughs> See now it moves up and down like it should. I think it was stuck and that's why I was putting back pressure and uh, making the spark plug black. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. This is within spec. Um, well, actually, I do see a little wear here. Maybe I will put another cam in. I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back in. And then I'll get everything lined up on the other side and I'll have to take the timing chain tensioner off, which is located here. So I'll pull them two bolts off, take the tensioner off, get the cam back on the cam gear, and put everything back together. And I get the uh, valve lash set at .006, and go from there. Thank you. 
Alright. Now, this comes off with a 12 millimeter wrench. And then I can press this in and push that back in and put the tensioner back in. Alright, so I'm gonna pull that off. There's a spring behind there. And you press that tab, push that in, put my gasket back on, screw this back down. Alright, the spring and the tensioner in. You can hear it clicking as I'm tightening it up. Good. Still at top dead center. This is still correct. This is working like it should. I said before it was the spring wasn't in the right position. And it was causing issues. Go ahead and tighten that up. And while I got this part, I'm going to put a brand new thermostat in. I don't trust the old one that was in there. That's why when I removed the uh, thermostat cover, you didn't see the thermostat in there. I had a feeling I was going to have to do this, so I never put a thermostat back in. A brand new one. Get that boy in there. This back on. Take that off. Okay. Not even really much of a mess. So I'm looking at my rockers here. They do look like they have a little wear on them. I got another set of rockers I think I might try. Maybe that'll help too. They got a nice clean set. I'm gonna go ahead and throw those in. Put these back in. I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, reset my valve lash. Then I'm gonna fire this up. I have a video on how to set valve lash. I'm not gonna show it in this video. I'm gonna get this all torqued on. Adjust the valve lash right here. Here, it's 0 .006. I'm gonna get this all bolted up and hopefully the next time you see this, it'll be running good. Hey right, guys, just to show you what I did. I loosen those nuts and turn the screws. And my valve lash is pretty good. You want a little bit of drag on there. Like so. Oops, hang on. 
doing this at an angle with my left hand, so this isn't working. Move in and out with just a little bit of drag. That's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead, put my rocker cover back on, my spark plug in, fire this bad boy up. All right, time for the final test, see if it worked. Starts up easier. All right, no more backfire. So, hope you guys like this little tip. I thought it was the cam. Turned out to be the spring on the decompression ball shaft. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe. I've got hundreds of videos, and like always, till next time.